wherever possible, I always like to play this piano with the front panel off, with the lid off, so you can see the internal components moving as you press the key. Any musician will tell you that to be a musician, it's another way of expressing your emotions, another way of um, communicating in a much more abstract way. My name's James Everingham, and I'm a film composer. I've been writing music for films probably for about four or five years now. I think there's something really special about playing a really high quality piano with the felt and seeing the, you know, the, the mechanics move on the inside of the piano is really fascinating. It really emphasizes the sound of the hammer hitting the felt. It sort of inspires the way you play to sort of see each part moving. Growing up there was always music playing in the house, a lot of classical music. And I remember playing Bach's Carter and Few sort of at the time on the piano and I later got a little electric organ for, for, for my birthday. I had a great time as a kid, just sort of experimenting with, with music in general. As I got older, I started to get into filmmaking, so I was starting to think about what music am I gonna use in my films. I think through secondary school, I converted, I think it was the prayer room, into like a suite of Macs with GarageBand and Logic. And I would start spending my lunch hours and my breaks in there, kind of fiddling around and experimenting and using loops and seeing what I could come up with. And that just sort of developed to the point where I was writing tracks and I started uploading them to SoundCloud. I started developing a bit of a back catalogue on there. And then in 2015, uh, my manager introduced me to the team at Extreme Music. And Extreme invited me to come out to LA for a week or two and meet the team. And, and as part of that trip, I got to spend some time with Hans Zimmer. It was really interesting to sort of hear what he had to say, his advice to me as a, as a young composer. On the other end of these experiences, I sort of developed a new appreciation for really caring about the music, caring about the instruments that you're recording, the players that you're recording not using sample libraries all the time, making sure that the music you're writing breathes life and emotion and sounds human and isn't generic and doesn't sound like, you know, production music. Um, and it's just raw, beautiful music that hopefully people have a connection to. So this album isn't a solo piano album, but it all revolves around the piano. The piano is sort of the influence of the album, the inspiration for the tracks. They've all started on the piano. It takes you on a bit of a journey, I think. the time it's just set the mics up and play for half an hour and see what happens and maybe somewhere in the middle of that there's a you know there's a little snippet a melody or some chords or something that I can take upstairs and sort of cut out and go back to later and run effects through it and work out a way of making it work in the context of a track and developing it out into a fully fledged idea. It all really comes back to the idea of writing music that breathes and really has its own unique voice. As an album, it has high points and low points, dramatic points, intimate moments, and it's just really been a pleasure working with Extreme to create an album that I'm really proud of that is hopefully really versatile as well.